How to display estimated delivery date on Shopify product page. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can display your estimated delivery dates on your product pages on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, just to show you guys, this is one of my current product pages. It doesn't have any estimated delivery dates. Now, you can do this very easily and simply, and you don't have to create any code. I'll show you guys a code that you can copy and paste and use it to estimate your own delivery dates. So let's get into it. Now, one thing you need to note is that it depends on whether or not you're allowing international shipping or if it just has domestic shipping. If you have a standardized domestic shipping, you can display a very standardized and generic delivery date for your entire website. However, for people that are working in areas where there might be delays in delivery dates and you don't really have a standardized version, it really depends on your couriers, then it's going to be variable for you. Now, if you want to display your delivery dates or, you know, your estimated delivery dates, the first thing you have to do is actually add an application. To do this, simply click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings, you want to click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left once more, and then click on Shopify app store on the top right. Once you open up your Shopify app store, you're going to search for estimated delivery date. So once you search for estimated delivery date, you're going to have multiple different types of applications that enable you to display your ETA, which is, you know, estimated delivery arrival or EDD, whatever you might want to call it. There are a bunch of different free applications available. Some of these also have free trials. And if you take a look at the prime example, this is called estimated delivery date plus. If you take a look at this particular application, they have a free plan available. And then they start at $4.98 per month and then $8.98 per month on the pro plan. Now on their free plan, you can add up to 100 products. So for most smaller stores, that is going to be all right. You're going to click on install over here on this particular application. And once you click on install, you want to click on install application on the top right as well. Now you guys will be able to see this application on the left side of your screen. So the first thing you need to do is enable this application. Now to do this, simply click on enable on the right side over here where your application will be enabled. Now you will be able to see your message text widget, what it's going to exactly say. And you also have some other variables where you can display these as well. Then you have your progress bar widget as well. So what it's going to look like. Then if you take a look at your products, you want to add this to your products. So you can just select these and have these added. But you guys can see that the application has automatically taken these products and has been added to those products. So if we take a look at our application now, we can actually begin seeing the estimated delivery day. It's 10 to 20 days according to our particular application. So we can actually take these particular products and we can just resave them over here. And now after that, you also can select certain categories of products and then you have your basic plans and FAQs. Now, once you have enabled estimated delivery date, you want to actually add this widget. So you're going to see this is like the current widget that they are using. You can customize this as well. For example, this particular widget has free shipping to this country. Now, I don't offer free shipping. I can remove this text. Let's say order within the next this time for dispatch on this time. You can add whatever text you might want, which is going to be displayed over here. Now, after you have your basic appearance, once you have your basic widget, you have your settings where the working days are going to be added. And let's say the minimum number of days that you ship, a minimum of three to, let's say, we have 13 days, three to maybe three to nine days, let's say. And after that, you have your order ready working days, and then you have your order ready working days range, and then you have any holidays you might want to add. Then you also have your date setting as well as your countdown settings. Then after that, you have your countdown mode. So in your countdown settings, you can add how you want your countdown to be displayed. Let's say I want it to be order, you know, within the next this much time, whatever it might be. And then after that, you also have your time zone to adapt to the time zone of the particular user. And then you have your today and tomorrow language. 
Now, after that, you can go into the appearance section and you can choose the appearance of your widget on the right over here. Now, after this, you have your widget layout mode. If you want a progress bar, if you want a message text, if you want a progress bar and a message text, and if you want a message text and progress bar. So it really depends on what you prefer. Then you have your placement, which is going to be automatic, theme 2.0, or manual. Now, in the automatic, the automatically place this widget below your add to cart button. If you have the theme 2.0, you can go on ahead and open up the estimated delivery date plus app theme extension and click the current option to save it before clicking customize. So if you just open up the customize section on your theme like this, so if you open up your store over here, we have our toad bag and you can go into the app section to make sure this app is enabled. So you're going to enable EDD, which is our estimated delivery date app. Then you can go back into your app embeds, click on this particular section, which is going to be your particular item. And once this is being displayed, you can place this to the section you want to, you know, add this to like this and now let's say i want to place this below my buy button so you guys can see now this widget has been placed over here now this is for each individual page and you can click on save over here and if you want to preview or if you want to leave it at automatic you can leave that as well but if you want to place it at a very customized spot let's say you want to place it on a home page instead of just placing it on your product pages you can actually copy this code and add it over to, and you can manually, you know, paste the liquid code onto your home pages. Then you have your widget placement position. And then you also have your widget placement. So I want it to be on all pages or only on my product page. I only want this on my product page. Then I have my basic appearance, which might be the margins on the top, bottom, and the colors. Let's say I want to change the colors to be slightly less dark. So I can move to change the colors over here like this. And then I have the icon colors as well. So you can move to change those as well like this. So I can change the colors like so. Now, after that, you have your model pop-up country configuration. So whether or not you want to show the country mode, only added countries where you want the particular arrow to be placed as well as the country list appearance. After your appearance settings, you're gonna click on advanced over here where you have some multi-dimensional categorization which can enable or disable the estimated delivery date message on your checkout. So whether or not whenever customers are actually on their checkout page, they would be able to see the estimated delivery date on the checkout page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna click on save over here. And once you have enabled the application and you are ready to go, let's take a look at our online store over here to see whether or not our EDD is being displayed. So you guys can see now our estimated delivery date is going to be displayed. It has ordered on 1st November, then it would be ready by 4th, and then it would be delivered by the 6th to 12th. So this is pretty nice. And in this way, you can set up your own estimated delivery dates on Shopify. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.